Welcome back to another video guys, it's Blaze Dookie and I hope you're having a wonderful day and if you are, please drop a like under this video, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon and join our Discord link in the description. So I'm just lying on the sofa here, doing my thing, reading the news and then an article popped up today from Video Games Chronicle, I'll switch over to it now, um, basically, show, pardon me, showing you that an Instagram user has actually got access to a uh, DualSense DualSense 5 controller, is that what it's called? PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. Um, and they've basically torn it apart, Have they have pictures up, um, looking at the inside of it. Now, we're not gonna see high resolution images. They basically, what they've done is taken a screenshot of a folder on their computer with the, the icons of the images. And a uh, user on Reset Era, a big gaming forum, has basically enhanced them to give us a little, a better look at what they, you know, a better look up close at what these little thumbnails look like. Um, and it's revealed some interesting stuff. So as you know, PlayStation 5 has been making a big deal with the DualSense controller, talking about the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers, and the fact that you're gonna be able to feel stuff underneath your character, like the ice, for example, ice cracking beneath you. You're gonna feel how much understeer or oversteer you're gonna get in a car. You're gonna get some resistance to the brake pedal or the left trigger for the brake pedal in racing games. It's, they're touting it as a big thing, right? Um, and how, how big a thing is it? I mean, the Xbox One, when that came out in like 2013, right, had adaptive, tr adaptive triggers too. So it's not a new thing by any means, but I'm interested to see how this compares to the Xbox One controller. So let's take a look at some of the up close PS5 images that this Instagram account, this Argentinian peripheral, peripheral manufacturer Instagram posted. Um, and we can see some up close images of the DualSense controller now. On the top here, you can see it's got a Type-C port. Finally, it's got a Type-C port. I've got like 10 Type-C cables, so it's gonna be handy having another device that I can charge up with one. Um, the back seems to have a really funky texture to it. It has all the little PlayStation symbols, triangle, circle, square, X, looks cool. It's gonna be more grippy, which is nice. You've got the thumbsticks here, which seem to be more reinforced. That's one big issue that I had with the dual the DualSense, the DualShock 4 controller when the PS4 first came out was the fact that that little rubber portion there kept tearing off and it kept peeling off um, days after getting it. Like I went through five DualShock 4 controllers and I had to keep returning them to Amazon because that little silicone bit kept tearing off. They seem to have fixed it though in the, the new DualShock 4 controller, the one that shipped with PS4 Pro. Um, with the light bar on the front, they seem to have fixed it, so hopefully this one doesn't have the same issues as the original Go Through 4. Um, we've got clear, almost clear acrylic um, buttons now. They've taken a cue from Xbox. I wish they'd made them colored, that would have been a lot nicer. You know, with the the green, the blue, and the, the sort of magenta. Um, there's the back of it, of course. The back has that nice funky texture for grip. Um, yeah. I'm not a fan of the white controller, I think I've said that before, I think the white looks nasty. Just imagine, right, you go over to your friend's house and they hand you a controller that's got cheese puff dust on it. It's got like, it's all your orange and yellow and stuff like that. Oh, imagine playing with someone else's nasty white DualShock con DualSense controller that's covered in like food crumbs and stuff. Oh, it's going to look so nasty too, because it's going to be white. I don't think white is going to hold up over time, guys, I really don't. I just don't think it's going to hold up over time. It's gonna look grimy, it's gonna look dirty. So I am hoping, fingers crossed, that we start seeing some custom controller companies like Scuff put out custom versions of the DualSense 5, um, DualSense controller. And I think actually it's not gonna to be too difficult doing it yourself. Now, if you go back here, um, like it says, um, then the Argentinian peripheral firm that posted these images, they basically posted a picture of a folder with the images inside the folder. So what we're looking at is just icons in a folder. So we're not gonna see high res details or high res images of inside the controller here. We're just looking at icons and we're gonna have to just look at them, the blurry versions of them. So here we have the inside of the DualSense controller. It looks like the thumbsticks are soldered onto the board. Um, the board's attached to the haptic feedback motors in the, in the grips. Um, there's the shell. I, like I said, I can see a lot of people taking the shell off and spray painting it. In fact, you'd be able to do it if you know once you get one, if, if that's your thing, if you know how to use spray paint, which you should do. Um, there's the front of it. 
There's the little portion that controls the adaptive triggers. Doesn't look like much, does it? Something that's supposed to give you a lot of resistance when you're pulling it down. It doesn't look like much, but I guess we'll have to see when it, when it comes in person. Um, there's the inside. God, look how complicated it looks inside. Really complicated. You've got ribbon cables there. You've got little electronic, you know, those little thin cables that are soldered on. It looks, it looks like a very complex, design on the inside so um if you're if you're the sort of person into controller repair this this might give you some challenges <laughs> um there's the front of it i really wish they made that playstation logo color like the color playstation logo it would be so well it'd give you so much nostalgia like it says i hope people i hope people really get into customizing their controllers with the dual sense controller i hope people all take them take them apart paint the buttons paint the shell i think it's gonna look really nice and look at the size of the motherboard guys it almost looks as big as a smartphone motherboard it's crazy um you've got your transistors there you've got the little the microchips on there i believe it should have a microphone portion i think that, that could be the microphone there yeah because the dual sense controller supposedly has a microphone in it it certainly doesn't have any audio jack port now does it or does it yeah i think it might yeah it still has a microphone port but it does supposedly have a built-in microphone but yeah guys there we go there we have it the dual sense controller the inside of a dual sense controller and the close-up images look pretty good too where we get to see the, the finer details of it we don't get to see the bottom of it certainly oh we do sorry we do there it is so you do it does look like it's got that accessory port on it for accessories headsets maybe even keypads or keyboards um, but it does supposedly have a, a microphone built in. But there we go, guys. Like I says, I'm not a fan of the white. I really hope they release a black version soon. But in the meantime, I can see a lot of people taking their controllers apart and basically spray painting them. And if you spray paint the back, you're gonna lose that nice little PlayStation texture. But that's okay, I think I'd rather have a black controller because like I says, if you're eating cheese puffs, if you're eating food and you're holding this thing, it's gonna get so nasty looking. And it's going to get to the point where you're going to be embarrassed to, to hand your friends a controller. Because <laughs> it's going to look so dirty. Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you are, like I said, please drop a like under this video. It helps us out a lot. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video um, for all the latest PS5 news. So join our Discord as well. Link in the description. And have a great week. It is Monday. Um, and I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more PS5 news, Xbox Series X news in the coming week. Um, hopefully we get some more pre-orders available so we can pre-order it. Because I missed the Xbox Series X pre-order. It was a shambles. I tried the pages wouldn't load. Um, I missed out the PS5 ones as well. So hopefully, hopefully this week we get some more pre-orders available. Anyways guys, have a great day. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.